Change management is a collective term for all practices and approaches which are required to facilitate a successful change from the current as a state to the transformed to be state. And it really needs facilitation because majority of projects failures are not attributable to design, development or testing. It's more attributable to the fact that the user was not really facilitated, helped, supported enough and hence his or her acclimatization into the new transformed state was not very adaptive and hence they gave up probably on the, on the solution offered. So change management today is critical because it brings in the necessary expertise to manage this as slowly, softly and smoothly towards a more successful future. Project management is the discipline of initiating, planning, executing, controlling the various aspects which are tasks and activities related to a project management. So in that case, maybe project management is the application of tools, techniques of managing a project and its activities so that it falls within its own KPIs of achievements. What are the different areas of project management? Scope management, time management, cost management, stakeholders management, risk management. So in short, if you are able to have a process and methodology which helps us or equips us to care for all these related line items which ensures the success of the project, we will call it project management. Agile is a group of certain methodologies which are utilized in an iterative manner by also using the skills of self-organized cross-functional teams in order to deliver a project in a much faster way. Scrum is a subset of Agile. Scrum by itself is also a methodology where a larger piece of work is broken down into meaningfully smaller compartments is delivered in a faster time period with the right span of attention and focus by the team on their specific related activities yeah and that is governed by daily stand-up meetings in which all the challenges and risks are brought into focus and with the brainstorming effort of the entire team it's effectively mitigated in a very operational manner and that's what makes Agile and Scrum a very successful methodology for software development life cycle. And it has brought in a paradigm shift from the erstwhile waterfall methodologies. And this is more incorporated into an actual development cycle in today's world. Actually a lot. Coming from a discipline of business analysis, Agile and Scrum masters, project managers, and change managers actually. We see the business analysts gaining firm grounds in its alignment with business and IT teams for the development part. We see Agile and Scrum Grandmasters taking over a more effective role in actual delivery and the life cycle of the application development. We see project managers aligning with Scrum Masters and aligning with business analysts to deliver a more seamless output from a client perspective as well. We see movement and collapsing of a lot of skill sets into a single person who's capable to deliver that largely for small to medium sized projects. Not only the discipline by itself is evolving very fast, it's no longer a very very specialized domain specific role now. A business analyst is expected to branch out beyond the client and stakeholders and work very effectively with the IT teams not only to govern and supervise the actual delivery of the output but also align with the change manager or be the change manager by himself or herself. So what we see is an end-to-end -end of role for a business analyst provided that he or she has the right skill set from a change management perspective and also from an Agile and Scrum Master perspective. What we see is that either the candidates are very theoretically capable 
because they have been through a certain course contents or we see budding professionals with about two to four years of work ex who typically have experience on certain areas like project management or scrum but they don't really have a right certification or a good theoretical understanding to create the right hybrid between experience and learning. That is what we are looking at now to create via such professional programs which pick up professionals who want to give a more structured learning to their existing experiences and hence give a better output to the clients.